All right, good morning, everyone, and we're back at it again. Back at it again. With uh, Ian and his little 8 valve and 2.0 ABA that we're going to be swapping over. So, uh, the goal today is for me to tear the engine apart, or just technically just take the, the head off, uh, swap over the 8 valve head, and then <laughs> uh, swap over the head. Set timing on the lower end, top end, and then I actually just time the dang thing. Once it's all set and done there, we're going to pretty much figure it out from there. Um, there's a different head gasket we have to use. There's a different adapter we have to use for a bunch of things to do this swap and for it to work. Obviously, we're gonna walk you through as much as I can uh, today. Uh, but this will be part of your DIY. Uh, so the first thing is first, we're gonna get this guy on the cherry picker and then remove the uh, the flywheel, looks like it. Yep, the flywheel has to come off. Uh, and then we'll be able to actually uh, rotate the engine and bolt it onto the actual uh, stand. By chance, Ian, did you get hardware to mount the engine to the engine stand? Tell me, I always have jars and jars of hardware. All right, so we finally got the engine on the stand. I got some, uh, I made a phone call to a good friend, Ray Ray. Everybody knows Ray Ray. Uh, because this fool. Kept on giving me the information I didn't I needed and didn't give me the information I needed. You didn't ask. So you need to get that, that picture of that part that we need for the block off. That's right. So and since we're doing a ABA or a 2.0 block with an eight valve head, we have to block off some things. Uh, number one, we have to block off the EGR port here and whatever this thing is here at the bottom is part of the crankcase. Uh, there's a kit that you can buy to block this all off. From Tectonics. Uh, yep, from Tectonics Tuning. $65. $65. Um, so we want to set the timing on the block. We can care less about the head since we're going to be swapping the head out. Um, but if you have a 2.0, here's a quick pointer on how to time a 2.0 ABA head. So you have the lower timing mark right there. Set that guy. Work your way all the way up. You're gonna have the upper cam gear mark right here. It's gonna say OT. You want that uh, pretty much parallel with the block or per pretty much perfectly straight up. And that's how you time pretty much a 2.0 engine. Pretty straightforward. You can smell it. Gas. Mm -hmm. Straight old, really old gas. Okay, so that's how you time a, a uh, 2.0 ABA block. Now, same thing for a 16 valve, I mean, a, a 8 valve, a 1.8 liter or 1.6? 1.8 liter uh, Mark II engine. Um, time it again with the lower timing gear. Really, really simple. The timing mark down here. But the OT sits parallel with the valve cover um, right here. So this little metal plate, uh, pretty much where the valve cover meets the head, that's where it's going. Where that OT is going to sit, that's where that timing mark is going to be for the eight valve head. That's how you time these guys. We're going to walk you through that, but we just want to give you the heads up before you start dismantling everything. On uh, over here on the distributor, you want to make sure you look at look at this orientation. Um, you want to make sure the timing mark is right here. You'll see there's a timing notch right here. That is parallel with this notch right here on the top of the rotor and the distributor. Um, you got to make sure those line up. And that's just to get the, the engine fired up and running. From there on, that you guys are going to adjust your distributor uh, um, uh, advanced and retard functions once the engine's running. But that's just to get you started. That is the zero. 
That's point zero to get the motor just fired and running. Okay, guys? All right, so we're now starting on the, uh, the disassembly of the uh, engine right now. So as I start taking things apart, we're gonna walk you through what's coming off, uh, what we're doing. Ian right now is gonna take the spark plugs out. I'm working on taking the valve cover off really quick. Yeah, if you got the gun, it would be even faster. Here we go. NASCAR, NASCAR! <laughs> That's not good, folks. Good thing we're not using the head. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean... Point of no return now, eh? Yeah. Just take some of my threads off. Dead. I needed those. Mm hmm. That's why I took them off. <clears throat> Thanks. Okay. Now you need a special Volkswagen uh, tool for the head. It's a 30. Is it M10? It's a 37 uh, Torx, but with like uh, squared off ends on it. Uh, this one actually has triple squares. Not bad, no, but it's still weird. It's just, it's just using triple squares on it. Oh no, it's actually got to use triple squares. That did not work. No. Do you not have triple squares for axles, like for your Mark IV? Ay, 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 Mr. Ian. He does have triple squares. Look you. Don't get them dirty. Don't scratch them. Yeah, we need an adapter. Yep. So for this head, it's using a twelve millimeter triple twelve millimeter triple square. The twelve millimeter triple square. Yeah. Shut up. Gonna stop there and do a little extension too. Did we pass that? Match. Real estate. 
for over there and then I What's actually motivating me to get back from getting my other motors done? What weird stuff? Yeah. Like this. Yeah. So that one. That one looks a little tough. Do you use that? Yeah, I do. We need to make one of the extension again. That's not a good. Oh, well, it's the seal. The gas is finally coming apart. Now. Spark plugs were in. Yeah, that's it. Alright, good. I got it right here. No. I know, right? Excited. <laughs> I'm also scared that we're gonna probably have a turd in the engine. Oh no, it's fucking machine. You gotta get a deck, you gotta pull the pistons out, and you gotta do all this work right now. Alright. 
One. Two. Can you get the cardboard ready so I can put it on there. And three. Oh yeah. Oh, they're clean. Oh yeah, you were worried. That's a lot of carbon. That is. Huh. Huh. Have you seen that? The carbon like that? That's good. It was all sealed. We're good. I can reuse that. You're bending it! <laughs> There's some rust in there. That's normal. Yeah. We need to clean this all off. There's some scotch break? No, 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 no. Uh, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna move these guys back. So what we're looking for is pretty much a clean, clean block on the oh, wrong size. We want a clean block on the on the cylinder walls. Dead center, you have legitimately about a tooth of clay. See that right there? Hopefully. So if you have the timing mark on the actual timing, lower timing cover, correct? You'll see here by hand, and you have the block like this. There's a part of the block right here that's about a tooth. There's no movement up and down whatsoever. And you find the happy spot right there. And that's TDC. That's that's it, you're done. Your timing's set. Um, we got a lot of cleaning to do. Uh, we gotta clean the top of this head as good as we can without making any score marks whatsoever. Uh, and then we're gonna check for our flat but I don't see actual scratch marks, so compression might be fine on this engine. Um, I don't see any marks where it's showing um, any grooves, yeah, grooves. It's surface rust, but that's just surface rust on the outside, on the top portion where there might have been some water on top. So, uh, nothing really, really crazy or bad, so that's, that's a good sign. Um, Currently, again, we're doing this on a cheap, so we're not going to get the engine decked. We're going to just clean it up as best we can. Yeah, we're going to find out. We're gonna, we got a nice uh, flat ruler to check if the, if the head is not uh, warped at all. I mean, the block isn't warped. If we're good, 
we just clean the surface and slap on the new head and time it and get it back up and running. That's literally it. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So currently the next step we have here after we remove the head, um, we're gonna be uh, actually cleaning up, doing a lot of cleanup, so. We gotta get the head prepped. Um, pretty much to put a head gasket in. So we cleaned as much as we could with the, uh, with the razor and it's not perfect. So we're gonna go get some, uh, it's called Quad Zero uh, Steel Wool. That stuff will not scratch or scuff any surface. You can actually use the clean glass. Um, it's really, 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 really fine. Um, and we're gonna use that to finish cleaning off the surface off of this. And we're going to slap a head gasket on and put the eight valve head and then move on forward and see pretty much um, how everything works out. The next step before we, once we do that, you're going to grab some uh, brake cleaner or carburetor cleaner, spray into these guys and then use um, um, shop air or just uh, compressed air and clean up all the holes as best as you can because you don't want to have any debris or liquid inside of these because once you torque these down and if there's fluid in here it's going to create pressure and you can crack your block so be be very 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 cautious with this guys when you start uh, cleaning this up so traditionally we will take this to the shop have it uh decked and then new bearings and new rods i mean new bearings uh new rings and it'll be a fresh rebuild but we're kind of on a budget for this build it's strictly as cheap as possible so we're gonna see how it turns out if it works cool if it doesn't we're gonna tear it all apart again and then take it to a machine shop again this is kind of a learning process for us we're gonna have fun doing it just want to give you guys to see a first-hand experience and how this works out and see if it actually does work out all right guys see you guys in a little bit all right everyone we are back and on this scenario now so we grabbed some uh, quad zero um, steel wool and all we did was clear off all the gasket that can come off using steel wool until pretty much you have like a mirror finish like not a mirror but a very very slick slick surface that doesn't have any texture uh, what you're seeing here now is mostly stains on the surface um, that's it it's not actual like gasket it's mostly just stains um, you do need to use a ABA 2.0 uh, gasket. Um, we're using a Felpro part number 26164PT. All right, open it up, buddy. I can't return it then. Can't return it. I'll put that one in here. We'll seal it back up. We'll even know the difference. So this engine is a non-interference engine. So which means is if you really mess up on timing, you won't actually bend any valves. Oh, there's directions. <laughs> <laughs> we need them for the torque sequence, the sequence, not the specifications. Up. Oh, we got tips. So tips tricks. once the gasket is laid on, we're gonna get ready to put the new head on and then we're gonna to torque everything down the spec and then we're gonna time it, put the new belt, water pump and all the accessories for it to get timing on done. And that's it. That's pretty much it for me today. Ian's gonna be having fun doing the rest of the stuff when it, show, when it decides to show up, the parts. He's still missing the block off plate that's for here. While you're at it, while waiting for it, you might as well order the gasket that goes here. Yeah, and the adapter for this. Um, Again, this is kind of like a trial and error setup that we're doing. Um, just, you know, watch and learn as we go. Again, this is something that, I, oh, this is something that we're experimenting with, even though it's been done multiple times. We haven't done it here on the Pinchal's Garage, so it's interesting and I'm excited because this engine's really, really simple to build and just get up and running really quick. So, that too. All right, so, heavy gaskets on top. I think we have to remove one of the dowel pins, right? Okay. So 
So we got the torque sequences. There's a very, very specific uh, torque spec you guys need to use for this setup. You're not supposed to use the factory torque specifications. There's a different torque spec that you need for this setup. Okay, guys? All right, so, all right we got this little tiny head now. Dolphins don't even line up. No? Okay. Yeah. So we gotta put the bolts in to keep it in place? Yeah. What the heck? What the heck? Yeah, that's pretty much what you have to do. Done. <laughs> so as you guys can see, um, there's two dowel pins on the um, back of the block. You guys can't see that, but the back, back here, they have no purpose. Um, they, they're supposed to be guide pins to help you center the block properly. Yeah, no, that didn't happen. So, just have your friend, get one done, and then work your way around the block. Now, all they're doing is going hand tight. We are not torquing this yet down to spec. Not yet. How nice that looks compared to <laughs> the rest of it. Yeah. So this motor also has a uh, performance cam, a 268 uh, cam on this. So I guess this motor, uh, not oh, motor, yeah. but the head has it's a been, good. It's been decked before as well. Yeah, it's been decked before. So yeah, the head is really good. It's ready to go. Yeah, pretty much. So we're now just getting ready now to get this ready to start torquing it down to spec. Um, good news and bad news. Good news, it's going to be easy. Bad news, it's going to get really hard. That's uh, what she said. So what are the torque specs, Ian? Uh, <clears throat> the first one, uh, if I remember off the dome, first one, yep, here it is, 30 foot pounds. Then you do a 44 foot pounds, then you turn an additional 90 degrees, and then you hit it again with another 90. There you go. Actually, I think 90 is a half a turn. 90 degrees, yeah, not 30 shifting, so it's not a quarter. Half to be 180. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay, so yeah, quarter turn. And then, perfect. This is your torque sequence. One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna follow that when we do everything uh, on camera. Okay, guys. All right. So we are now back again, and we're gonna start the torque sequence at 33 foot pounds. One, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That is the sequence for the first uh, turn of events here. We're gonna go 33 foot pounds, people.
So, next we're going to do it again, but with 44 foot-pounds of torque. Remember, foot-pounds, not inch-pounds, not newton-meters. All right, here's number one. Number two. Three. I do a 90 okay so a 90 is a quarter turn okay so 90 180 what is it 270 360 right so 90 degrees is pretty much straight up over to the right okay quarter turn so 190 180 we're doing a quarter turn which is 90 degrees and we gotta do that two times so we do it 90 degrees all the way around once and then we do 90 degrees all the way around second time um, this is gonna be a little tricky we're gonna need the adapter and then the issue that we have here we need a marker what we got to do is mark each one of these uh, bolts so we can see when we do 90 returns. Because what we want to do is we want to go 90 all the way around once and then 90 all the way around the second time. The second time you should have the 90 degree mark that we started which was straight up is going to be completely straight down when we're done. All right, so now we have marked all our bolts pretty much straight up. We're gonna repeat the torque sequence now, but no more torque wrench, just a big, big old breaker bar. And we're gonna do it again. Repeat, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That is the torque sequence. So we're going to start here. Put my foot on the block, put me on the ground, and turn. It's been a while since I've done this, so. Turn. All right, that's a quarter turn. Number one. Number two.
And last but not least, number 10. <laughs> All right, that's the sec third third torque sequence at 90 degree turn. Now we gotta do one more 90 degree turn to finish it all off, and we are done installing the head. After that, oof! After that, we're gonna work on the timing and what components we're gonna need to actually set the timing on this. Once that's done, we are done with our current DIY today. And then we're going to work on the next parts uh, once the other parts show up. So we're on the sixth one on the torque sequence for the 90 degree turn. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Don't like it. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Stop. You mean when you start torquing a bolt down and then out of nowhere it just gets really easy to put in? Yeah, when Righty Chatty becomes wet, uh, Righty Lucy. I can't see this one, so... Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I can see. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Stop. Stop. Last but not least, number 10. This guy is so sad. <laughs> yeah, can see all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To show you guys what we ended up doing, so you guys can see exactly how um, we marked everything, so that way you guys can see what I mean. So you'll see there's a mark right there on all of them. Alright, we started with all those marks up this way. So you go from 90, from top. Halfway, I mean a quarter of the way and another quarter of the way. That's 90, 90. Okay? We did all 10, just like that. And we are officially done installing the head. Next step now is to remove the old cam gear and install it on this guy. We gotta put the eight valve idler pulley here. We have to use the 2.0 belt. Um, for this and we also have to use the 2.0 water pump or the 8 valve water pump. We have to use the 8 valve water pump, 8 valve pulley, but a 2.0 belt. All right, you guys are still tuned in, so now we're set. We're getting ready now to set the actual timing on this uh, motor. So you'll see here on this uh, cam gear, uh, this is the TDC mark here. This marks this, this is an 8 valve head not a 2.0 8 valve head or a uh, ABD um, this is just a generic 8 valve 1.8 liter 8 valve head so this marker sits flat over here on this part so it runs parallel with that once you have that you're gonna set your TDC on the crank and then you're gonna install your belt the way that you install your belt you put all this all the tension on this side and you put all the slack on this side of the, of the motor when we kick on tension, we uh, put the tension on this, this will tighten up and then we're set. Alright, so we are back and now currently we're going to get this set to timing. Um, 
you know where that tall point nature is? So what we ended up doing, we set the crank to TDC and then we marked it. We made some markings here so we know where TDC is at uh, visually without the timing cover. Um, once you do that, you set your distributor, um, this guy right here, this, this pulley right here controls your distributor over there. Um, there's a notch on the distributor that kind of tells you where the first uh, firing order is at. There's no marking here, you just got to use the, uh, the marking over there. Um, from what I'm reading, what I've been reading is that we're currently the this this marker. Uh, there's a timing mark on this. I'm gonna check on the effect one. I think there is one on the factory one too. Sorry, this is the can. So, the plot thickens. So currently, as of what we know of from what we've been reading off the Bentley manual and uh, off of the VW Vortex who actually did this build. Um, again, this is a learning process for all of us during this build. So uh, if a lot of you guys, a uh, 2.0 8-valve ABA builds that did this swap, if you guys can post down in the comments some more information. We still got more parts coming so we can actually just fix timing after the fact. The great thing is that this, these are non-interference engines, so we don't have to worry about valves bending if timing is incorrect. It just won't run right, or it just, just won't run. Um, so for an eight valve head to be timed correctly on here, we have to match this guy uh, pretty much parallel to the valve cover. Uh, the timing mark here is on the timing cover, which is what we lined up with. That's set. This guy is set to the distributor with the notch that's on it. So we put the belt on, make sure all the tension is taken off the side with the tensioner pulley. Okay, with a good set of needle nose pliers. Where'd you put that uh, nut and washer? You wanna go here, turn it clockwise, and then you wanna take your Check your tension here. Uh, you don't want to have too much tension and not enough. This is a manual tensioner, so 
too much, um, what's going to happen is that the engine is going to make a really wide, like loud, windy noise. Uh, that means it's not there's too much tension, and you just got to back it off. Um, so we're going to give it about a good half inch of travel, kind of quarter inch of travel all the way. Tighten that down for me, Mr. Sure. Ian. It was a lot tighter than 20. So now we double check our timing mark here, double check our timing here. Looks correct. So the next step is to rotate the engine um, pretty much two full turns so everything lines up the way we had it before. Hmm? Yeah, oh, these we set these to 60 foot pounds. This one, I think with like 30 to 44, we'll double check everything. But yeah, now we're gonna rotate the engine fully. Currently, it's turning pretty well. That's one. And here's our second rotation. And then that mark, this marker should line up with this marker on the second turn. Pretty dang well. My job. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we're not 100% sure, but this is lining up here. This is lining up correctly. And this is lining up correctly. So if that's all correct, this should go on. This should go on. And there you go. Time. It's not bolted on correctly, but. Yeah, this one. Oh, this doesn't come on. You should probably change the change the belt down there. Um, but yeah, we're we're set to TDC there. We're set to TDC here. And look at the distributor. We're matching. That's that's time. We did a full two full rotations. The valve didn't hit, um, and that's pretty much it for now. Now again, since it's not interference, there is a possibility that it's not timed 100%, which is fine because we can legitimately just take it all apart and just turn it a little bit more um, by one or two teeth further and find out where we're, we were off and then correct our, our timing. Now again, I want the people who are huge eight valve guys is they know exactly how to do this swap uh, eight valve head with an ABD or a two liter ABA. bottom ABA or ABA I'm sorry ABA block please comment down below what we did wrong or what we did right and, and if we did something wrong help us correct it let's do it right um, we got another week or two before we actually finish this build so I don't want this engine in the car until we're actually 100% certain on our timing so it'd be great if you guys hit us up and uh, give us more information about it. It's, uh, it's a learning experience for Ian and I, and everything else is pretty straightforward. Nothing difficult. It's just timing is kind of so-so. But other than that, we're pretty much set. We just got to take care of everything else around the engine and then get it back put back in the car. So thanks for watching this episode of NGL's Garage with Ian <laughs> and me. And obviously, a Mark II 8-valve uh, GTI with an ABA bottom end. Peace out, guys. You guys have yourself a wonderful day.